Hi guys, it's the Book Geek back with another video. Um, welcome to all my new subscribers and welcome back to all my old subscribers, which isn't that much. <laughs> I only got like 20 subscribers. But um, before I start this video, I just wanted to say, um, I want to send a message out there because recently on Facebook and Instagram, I've noticed that some people have been feeling a little down in the dumps and some people have posted um, things that suggest that they might consider suicide or they've come right out and said, I'm going to kill myself. Um, I find myself messaging people on Facebook and Instagram that I don't even know, trying to give them words of encouragement because they've said things, um, very depressing things about how they just want to give up and they just want to die and so I find myself sending them messages of encouragement to try and send any type of positive um, message to them that I can you know to try and cheer them up I myself battle with some depression so I know how um, someone in that type of mind frame might feel so I just wanted to say before I started this video that please, I just want to say to everyone, please check up on your friends. Call your friend, call, call your friends, check in on them, your family members, because you never know what somebody is dealing with on the inside. And usually um, people who deal with depression, when they're, out and about and around other people they tend to laugh a lot smile a lot um, put on a fake smile sometimes or they they're the jokester in the group or they seem like they're happy and you don't really know that something's going on with them and it could be a lot going on with them um, it'd be the happiest of the friends that's really the saddest so please check up on on your happy friend check up on your um your funny friend the one that seems like they don't have a care in the world because they're probably dealing with some issues that you can't believe. So I just wanted to put that out there, that message out there. I mean, I suffer from depression myself. Nobody calls me and checks up on me. <laughs> I don't have friends like that. Nobody don't call me and see how I'm doing. The thing that keeps me going are my two children. So call your happy friend. Call your funny friend. Check up on your friend. Please. And with that being said, we're going to head into um, the graphic novel and comic book collection that I want to show you guys. So today, let me just tell you, today I'm going to show you my comic book and graphic novel collection, my October book haul, and all of my horror bookmarks, which is a lot. It's a lot, okay? So <laughs> I have a lot of bookmarks. I have over 130 bookmarks. Just so you know. And I'm wearing my fantastic pumpkin head shirt. It just came in the mail, I think, yesterday um, from Cavity Colors. And, of course, I'll be linking the shop name and link, you know, down below in the description. So if you want to grab a t-shirt, you can do that as well. This movie used to terrify me as a child. But I love scary movies and Halloween so even though this movie terrified me as a child and it still scares the living daylights out of me, I had to have this shirt. I mean, look at this. This shirt is freaking awesome. So anyway, let's get into the graphic novel haul. Um, my, um, I've, this year I've gotten really into um, graphic novels and comic books. I've been wanting to read them for a while, especially since I got into um, The Walking Dead. That's what made me want to start reading um um reading graphic novels and comic books so my collection is small but it is ever growing and hold on a second am i recording yes i'm recording oh i didn't my thing looked like it wasn't recorded okay that would have been i would have been pissed if i would have recorded this whole video and then realized it wasn't recording so anyway <clears throat> let's get into it so put these on the bottom the first graphic now I'm going to show you guys is speak this is the um I, I also have um the novel 
of this book, but this is the graphic novel to the graphic novel to the book speak. Um, the artwork is by Emily Carroll. So I haven't read the book speak yet, but I've always been interested in it. I did see the movie years ago. But um, yeah, I just, I like how it's in black and white. I love black and white art and illustrations. So um, yeah, I can't wait to get into this one. It looks really great. So, um, when, when, I remember when this, um, when this book and, um, this story came out, it was hard hitting. So it was dealing with issues that some high school girls, um, might've been dealing with then and now. So that's that one. I also have, um. Now, I don't know the difference between a graphic novel. I mean, I know this is a graphic novel, but sometimes things that look like comic books seem like graphic novels to me. So, whatever. They all are part of the comic book genre. Let's just put it that way. Because I don't want to say, oh, this is a graphic novel, and then somebody be in the comic and be like, in the comment section and be like, that's not a graphic novel. That's a comic book. So, to avoid all those technical technical things I'm just gonna say you know all of these are part of the comic book genre so they're either comic books or graphic novels and I don't have any um, what they call them mangas I don't have any of those yet um, but this is the infernal pack and sex drugs and damnation this is by Joseph Shemox I'm saying that name wrong probably but it is um, like dark type of art, which is what I like. And it, it, um, when I picked this one up at Comic Con, um, it came with this really cool sticker. So that's that one. I also have Edgar Allan Poe's *The Raven* and other tales. This is a graphic novel. And I just say I wasn't going to say <laughs> what it was. But it actually says on the, the cover, graphic novel. So that's how I know. And this one has um, five tales in it. The Raven, The Fall of the House of Usher, The Mask of the Red Death, The Black Cat, um, and The System of Dr. Tar and Professor Feather. So... I like the illustrations. That's the Raven one. And I really love the um, Raven story. It's like one of my favorites. Let's show some, um, some, some of the illustrations. Let's see. So, I really love Edgar Allan Poe. I used to have, when I was young, um, I had a giant book full of all of Edgar Allan Poe's tales. And I have no idea what happened to it. It was a really, really old book. I had it since I was like 10 years old. And I don't know what happened to it. I had a lot of good books when I was young. And a lot of them I gave away because I thought I was too old for them. Or they got misplaced when I moved or whoever I was living with, my grandparents or my mother or whoever, probably tossed them out. So, I don't know where they are. I also have archived the Warhood Odyssey. I picked this one up at um, Comic-Con as well. And, let's see. Uh, Dylan Andrews and Tyler Kirkman are the author and illustrator of this book and it's about this um 
is this guy when the story starts this guy has on this hood see he's trying to rip this hood off his face he can't get this hood off and it actually talks to him and there's something special about this hood because everybody is after him there's a bunch of people after him and they want this hood um let's see what it says on the on the back let me see real quick uh... Somehow he has been bonded with the most powerful, powerful weapon ever created, the War Hood. That is what he has on. Era is fighting through New Selenia and running from Selenic and his hired guns. He's met Tachi, a mute ninja warrior woman who I love. The woman that's in this, in this picture with him right here. She's a, a mute. She doesn't talk. She's a mute warrior. She's awesome. Um, she's a mute ninja warrior who has kept him alive this long. Era trusts Taki with his life, but should he? Really good. So, this is just what? Volume 1? Or issue 1? So, I've been trying to find the next part to it because I'm, I'm interested to find out what's going to happen next. It ended and I was like, what's happening? What's going to happen next? And it just ended. So, <laughs> that one was pretty good and I loved the illustrations. And then I picked up... The waking and I got this one purely this was this was a purely um this was a cover by I got this one purely because of this cover and it's about people coming back from the dead which I am totally down for and this has color illustrations and let me see so I hope it's good. If it's good, I'll go pick up some more of the other volumes to continue reading it. But I skimmed through the um, book and it seemed like it was going to be pretty interesting. And this cover is just to die for. I mean, look at that cover. Look at the zombies in the back of the little dead girl. And of course, I have volume one of The Walking Dead. Volume two of The Walking Dead. Volume 3 of The Walking Dead. And I just recently got Volume 4 of The Walking Dead. This is part of my October book haul. So, I mean, enough said about The Walking Dead. I've talked about it enough. We all know this is by Robert Kirkman. And it is a worldwide phenomenon. They have a television show. It's on Season 9 right now. And... It's about the zombie apocalypse and people's people trying to survive during it. I have volume one of Saga. I haven't gotten into this one yet. I haven't started reading it yet. This is by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. And it's a sci-fi drama, I believe. When two soldiers from opposite sides of a never-ending galactic war fall in love, they risk everything to bring a fragile, fragile new life into a dangerous old world. Fantasy and science fiction. Yes. So, can't wait to really get into that. I also have Preacher. This is book one. I had started to watch this show, but um, I have to get back into it. Um... Preacher follows the epic journey of the Reverend Jesse Custer as he tracks down a fugitive God to make him answer for the sufferings of his creation. I really love the show, so I have to get back into it. And um, this one has color illustrations as well. Love the artwork. And that's by Garth Ennis and Steve Dillon. And then here are a couple of um, comic books I picked up during Free Comic Book Day earlier this year. This is a Simpsons one, which I love the Simpsons. I used to watch this show faithfully. I still do sometimes, but I love the Simpsons. I don't think I'll ever get tired of the Simpsons. And a Nightmare, um, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Zero's Journey. And I'm actually going to be getting some more of these Nightmare Before Christmas comics. that 
And then I have this Walking Dead. This is issue 163, Conquered. Um, this one is it's in a protective, um, a protective case. I actually picked this one up at Comic-Con and I had my face um, drew on this by one of the illustrators. He, um, he zombified me on the cover and signed it. So let me just take that out real quick so you can get a glimpse at that. Let's see. Uh, there we go. One of these days I'm going to have a good camera so I don't have to pull up, put up with this flash situation. But um, hopefully you guys can see that and it's not too bad. That's me on the cover. He told me to make a face. He told me what to do and then he zombified me. And um, it's signed here. And this is issue 163. I haven't got this far in the comics yet, so I haven't read this one yet. Zombies. I love zombies. So that is that. And then the next two I'm going to show you are part of my October book haul. So we're just going to go straight from the graphic novels, straight into the um, October book haul. So, during the month of October, I wasn't planning on buying any books, but I ended up at the mall and went into Newberry Comics, and they were having a buy two, get one free sale. So, um, of course, I ended up getting two graphic novels that I really, really wanted to check out, and um, I picked up a third one and got that one for free. So, the first one I'm going to show you is Low. This is Volume 1, The Delirium of Hope. And this is by Reminder and Toshini, I believe that's how you pronounce that. This has been on my wish list on Amazon for a while. And um, it says here, in the far distant future, the sun's premature expansion has irradiated Earth, sending humanity to the lowest depths of the seas, hidden within radiation-shielded cities, while probes scour the universe for inhabitable worlds after tens of thousands of years a single probe returns crashing on earth's surface a now alien place no human has seen for millennia now stale kane and her husband joel the last hellsman of the once great city of salas must rise from the depths of mankind's despair and journey to the surface in search of salvation sounds good sounds like a sci-fi adventure I cannot wait to get into it. I like the illustrations. Oh. I'm a fan of art. I love art. So that's volume one of that one. And that is part of my October book haul. Also in the month of October, I picked up Skyward. Um, it's Henderson, Garbett, Fabella, and Bolin. Um, are the creators of this. This is volume one. And um, one day gravity on earth suddenly became a fraction of what it is now. So something happened to the air and people are now able to fly. So that is what this one is about. Very interested in that. Let's see if we can find a good picture. Skyward. Alright. And might I just say I just love how there's a girl of a woman of color on this on the cover. Love it. And also I showed you guys this one already in the month of October. I got volume four of The Walking Dead, The Heart's Desire. And this is going to pick up where I left off in volume three with the gang back at the prison. So as you can see, I haven't gotten very far in the comics, but I am a fan of the comics and um, a huge fan of the show. And I got one book um, this month. Let me take the sticker off. And that is Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Nevin. Or Niven. And I believe this is the same author of All the Bright Places. Yes. Um, so it says here, Libby is the girl whose name everyone knows, but no one really sees her except Jack. Jack is the guy who's friends, who's friends with everyone, but he doesn't let anyone in except Libby. The two make an unlikely pair, and yet they just might be able to change each other's worlds. So, sounds like something I would definitely be 
interested in. So that is my small comic book and graphic haul collection and my October book haul. Hold on, let me just check my time here. It's still, still going. So, sorry guys. It's hard to see it with the glare. So now I'm going to quickly show you all of my horror bookmarks. So all of my Halloween inspired um, and horror, horror, why is it so hard for me to say that word? <laughs> all of my scary bookmarks because for some reason I can't talk today. Where's my water? I had a bottle of water here. I get so thirsty when I'm making these videos and now I can't find my water. Like this is crazy. I can't find my water guys. Where is it? <laughs> I'm a hot mess today. All right, let's get started. So, I have so many bookmarks. And I'm going to list all the shops where I got these. This one says, this is Halloween. I wonder if I should turn my light off or turn the, turn the room light on. Oh, here we go. This is better. Now you can see it a little better here. And this is double-sided. This is a Walking Dead bookmark. Let me take it out of the plastic real quick. This one says, no, my hearing's fine. You said come locked and loaded. If you watch the show, you know where what scene that comes from. And this is Rick on the bookmark. This is another Walking Dead bookmark. I'm trying to see if this looks better here. This is a Stranger Things bookmark. And I put this one in my horror pile here because Stranger Things is kind of like Halloweenish, scary monster, kind of sci-fi-ish. So I considered that I considered that when I was um taking all of my Halloweenish bookmarks out. So this one says Mouth Breather and this is eleven um from season two. Season two eleven. This is Hocus Pocus. I put a spell on you and now you're mine. And this is a wood um, bookmark and also I added my Nightmare Before Christmas bookmarks as well because I always watch that movie around this time of year and it seems kind of Halloweenish so there you go this one says what's this I'll probably pull this one out again for um Christmas if I feel like showing bookmarks off for Christmas this is this says nevermore this is Edgar Allan Poe this is another walking dead bookmark this is Daryl it says shoot me again you best pray I'm dead I love Daryl. He's like one of my favorite characters. Although he's starting to bug the hell out of me because of the whole friction lately in the episode and the division between him and Rick and them fighting. But I still love him. He's still one of my favorites. Friends Don't Lie. This is another Stranger Things bookmark with 11. Season 1, 11. Let's turn on the juice and see what shakes loose. Beetlejuice. Here's another Stranger Things bookmark. Another wooden one. She's our friend and she's crazy. Another Stranger Things bookmark. This is the shadow creature.
another Walking Dead bookmark. I love The Walking Dead is what it says. I heart The Walking Dead. Coraline, which I also put in my Halloweenish um, pile of bookmarks. And this one says, when grown-ups told you something wouldn't hurt, it almost always did. And I love Coraline. I have a dowel up here on the top of my shelf, a crocheted Coraline dowel. And I'm actually dressing up as Coraline for Halloween this year. This is an It bookmark. It says very scary on this side. No, let's put it, let's keep it over here. Very scary. And then here it says not scary at all. This is an it bookmark. It says we all float down here. Jason. You see, Jason was my son, and today is his birthday. Friday the 13th. We have a Halloween bookmark here. You can't kill the boogeyman. Chucky. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Scream. Jigsaw. I wanna play a game. <laughs> that was a terrible impersonation. Alright, now I just got this one yesterday with my shirt. I actually didn't even know this bookmark was in the bag. Um, anybody who ordered something on a particular day from Cavity Colors um, was supposed to get a free Halloween bookmark. He had three choices um, and he was just going to send one randomly. Um, and so I was looking in the bag and it was like, where the hell is my bookmark? And then when I took my shirt out of the closet, I went to put it on. I found the bookmark laying on the floor. I didn't know it had fell out the bag or maybe it was tucked into the shirt and I didn't know. But it got a little crinkled on the side because I must have stepped on it. But um, it's all good and I have this one um, that he sent and it's a Halloween bookmark. I wanted all three of them. He had three different bookmarks that he was going to send randomly to anybody who ordered something on that day. And I got this one. Which is cool and it's the... 40, 40th anniversary, actually, of um, Halloween. On the back, it says 40 years of Michael Myers. So that's pretty awesome. Let's put these in my lap. And am I good with time? Yeah, I'm still good with time. My whole life is a dark room. One big dark room. This is from Beetlejuice. I'm going to try and go a little faster here, guys, because I don't know how much time I have left. This is another Nightmare Before Christmas bookmark. This is a Hocus Pocus bookmark I'm going to show you. And maybe I should have took these out of the plastic before the video. <laughs> and this is the side it. This, this is like a favorite of mine. I love that freaking bookmark so much. This comes from Hocus Pocus as well. Binks. I had to wait 300 years for a virgin to light a candle. This is Purge. This comes from NOS for a two. It's a book. This comes from Jaws. This is Cool Joe.
So I'm just looking at my time. This is from The Shining. Here's Johnny. Here's Johnny. Crazy SOB. Carrie. Wednesday from Adam's Family. Pennywise from the old It movie. Hannibal Lecter. Nose is itchy. Mr. Mercedes. My kids are in there fighting. I better hurry up. <laughs> I hear them in there fighting. Dracula. My nose is really itching, guys. I'm sorry. I got allergies. I'm in the house for crying out loud. Maybe it's dusty in here. This is a vampire from Salem's Lot. I'm going to have to put all of these back in the plastic when I'm done with this video. That's gonna be a pain in the ass to do. All right, we have the Bride of Chucky here. Tiffany. Coraline. It's Coraline. Chucky. So he's cute on this side. He just looks like a regular doll here. And then he turns into psychopath Chucky on the other side. Next year, um, I plan to dress up as Chucky. Female Chucky. For Halloween. I just got to find somebody to do my makeup. Because I want to get all the cuts and stuff in my face. Yeah, that'd be pretty awesome. This is Jigsaw. 